Assalamu alaikum. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shafi Yunus and in this video we'll learn about Splash Screen API which was introduced in Android 12. Splash Screen or less screens are a simple way to start your application. You will simply show your logo or an animated design for one second or so at the beginning of your application. So let's start exploring this API and its implementation. So here I'm having the official documentation for the Splash Screen API, in which you see how the Splash Screen works, the different elements and the mechanics of the animation. So here you see different size and logo and everything. So in order to start, let's go to migrate your existing Splash Screen. Go here and the first thing that you will prompt you to do is to add this dependency. So let's go to Android Studio. Here I'm having an empty Android project. I name it Splash Screen. First, let's go to the build.gradle file. Here, let's add one simple line, which is the main dependency, Parity's Android Core Splash Screen Alpha or Beta for the moment. You can find it here also. Let's synchronize it. Then, after successful synchronization of the project, go to the resources here and to the values and search for your theme. Now, here I'm going to implement it here. Here, you will have the main theme for your application. We will add another theme for our Splash. So, first, we will start by adding this style and we will name the theme. We name it theme.app splash screen. You can name it anything here. And the parent we will inherit from theme.splash screen. Next, we will start to add some properties. The first property, which is the window splash screen background, which represents the color of the background. Here I'm having a simple color background color, a simple gray color. I just copied it here. Next, we will add the icon itself. So we paste this property, window splash screen animation animated icon in which I'm having my simple logo here. This is the animated icon, where it can be animated or not. Here is simple PNG image. Next, we will add the post splash screen theme. After the splash screen completes, we'll switch into another theme. This theme is simply our main theme. So this is the minimal thing we can do in order to start using splash screen. Now, after completing that, you can go to the manifest. Here in the manifest file, search for the activity you want to add the splash screen to. Okay, so I'm here I'm adding it just to the main activity. I will paste this line, style.theme.app splash screen. Okay, so the theme for this activity will be the theme we created earlier here. All right, now after adding this line, we will go to the activity itself to launch the splash screen. Let's go here to the main activity. And here, let's add a simple line. This line is simply installed splash screen. This will start your splash screen. This splash screen will return something return a splash screen. You can store this splash screen in value here or in variable. And we can use this splash screen in order to do two main things. We can set an exit animation listener when the animation complete of the splash screen, we can start something or we can keep the screen or keep the splash screen until a condition isn't met. You can read about it here. This splash screen will stay visible until this condition isn't met anymore. So you can extend the time of the splash screen with a condition. All right, so this, we won't be using any of that. If we run this application right now, I don't think we will see the splash screen, exactly, because it happened so fast. We need to add something dangerous here. Let's add sleep. Why? Because it happened so fast. As you can see, you will see it right now, and then it will go, okay? Why is that? Because we have simple application. We have just one activity. It doesn't load anything at the beginning, so it will happen so fast. In real production application, you would delete that. If you can see, uh, let me extend this period for a longer period of time. You will see that my image is cropped. You will see that my image is cropped. And that's due to the documentation here. You, they will say that the branded image, this should be this size. I didn't respect this size, so it happened what happened. So this is how you can launch the splash screen and you can control it with the splash screen variable. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned how to apply splash screen and implement it in Android 12. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Salam alaikum.